Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. Today, we're painting Last Minute OSL. Last minute because I was about to finish the model when the client requested to add a couple of candles. The candles are a great addition to the model but I feel it could have been better if I knew that there are candles when I was painting this Lauvakai. Before we could do the OSL though, I have to finish the model, I have to paint the hair, push the contrast or push the highlights further because you'll see why I have to add more highlights because I will darken it later. So it was a matter of adding more highlights to the NMM, to the armor parts, and a bit on the skin. I added a bit of glaze medium with the paints and we had to finish it before the OSL. Now I think the model is ready for some OSL work. First, we create undercoat for the OSL because if you don't do this, it won't be as effective. I am dry brushing ice yellow over the edges of the stones where basically where the OSL will be the most intense. You could use white, white gray or ivory. I just want this video to be like revolutionary. <laughs> Seriously though, white will work ivory or white gray because we're painting over this with transparent colors later. You need to do this though because once we paint the transparent paints, they will look better if they have an undercoat. Normally, I use inks for this kind of job, basically glazing with the airbrush, but the blue ink is too blue, it's too vibrant. So we're using the game blue wash because it looks more nighttime. Ideally, we could mix this with matte medium so that it won't be too runny for the airbrush, but I don't have a matte medium, so we'll just use my grapho. For some odd reason, I, I don't need to thin my paints when I use the grapho and also we're just misting the paint over the model. This is to create like a nighttime look on the right side, basically to create a very cool shade on the right side so that it accentuates or it makes the candle later, the warm candles later look better. I think miniature painters call this environment painting, but I'm just calling it glazing with the airbrush. This blue wash tint is basically just a workaround because again, this was a last minute addition, but I prefer if I knew that I will have candles already so that I painted the skin a bit darker. Now we airbrush transparent orange. It's very important to note that we also have clear orange and clear orange is more orangey. This transparent orange is a bit more yellow. For normal airbrushes like the Infinity that requires thinning, I highly recommend you thin this around 5 to 6 parts paint and 1 part thinning sauce. But again, grapho is weird. I don't need to thin the paints and I don't experience clogging. Oh, and before I forget, I'm painting at 20 PSI and my grapho has a 0.15 needle. Now it's a matter of making the candles look better. We're painting flat yellow and then I also painted with ice yellow for the like the flame of the candles and then eventually I added small amounts or thin layers of white glaze. 
now it's a matter of making the candles look good also the radius like the immediate or the smaller radius around the candle should be more intense so we're adding a bit more highlights around those rock formations and even the skin of the wings so once we have a nice radius of intense light we're good to go this is slowly turning out good though but to be honest like i said at the start of the video the whole model could have been better if i knew that i need to add candles there so that i'll be painting the whole model knowing that i'll have osl also it's important that you paint the flame of the candle like almost white or even white so that you really show the intensity of the light of the candle as the source of light now i need to add warmness to the like surrounding areas of the candles so we use red pigment we chose to use pigments here because if you use transparent red or transparent colors over the dark groundwork it won't show up it won't be like it won't be obvious and if you use red paint it's I mean, unless you dry brush, I, it won't it won't look as good. Now we're done. I think I'm happy with the overall look of the model. I hope the client is, but it's only a workaround, and I am the happiest if I knew that I have candles there already. I've said this before. I've said this earlier in the video. But if you knew that you have candles there, you will make the painting of the whole model like match the candle or the OSL. And it will look a ton better. Last tip, if you're airbrushing with normal airbrushes, not the Grapho, you should add a bit of matte medium to washes and inks to add a bit more thickness so that they won't produce spider webs or you lower your PSI. And if you're painting with transparent paints, you thin them less but you thin them the same way as normal paints. That's it, we're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos!